we would look for all the go-tos like we used to have, all the supports and stuff. We found out for one thing, you know, when you become an adult with disabilities, there's way less resources out there. Interesting. Yeah, because everybody wants, you know, of course you want to for the cute little kids and you want to, mm. you know, so that's where all the support is, is for children, which absolutely, you know, should be there, but, you right. know, when you're an adult, you, you still need a lot of those things. Yeah. Some of the references that people wrote about you, they said it was, it seemed out of character for you to ask for help. It is. Yeah. I don't, I'm, I don't ask anybody for anything. Yeah. Um, if I needed to ride somewhere and it was three feet of snow, uh, I would either not get there or I just wouldn't ask. Sean works to pay medical bills. Right. And it was humble, it's humbling and you kind of have to swallow your pride a little bit when you reach out to organizations for help for things that Griffin needs. But someone shared with me uh, when I was starting that process, so like, that these organizations exist to help children like that. And if people are not applying and if people are not reaching out to them, they'll cease to exist. That, that's what they want to be oh, doing. interesting. And so... Yeah, that's a nice way to look at it. And it helped me a little bit because, you know, Sean works hard and we've always, you know, been able to provide everything we needed for our kids. I've never, like, asked for something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, I've applied to scholarships, but I don't think that's the same. I don't feel like that's the same thing. Um, this was something, like, really personal and something that, like, I would personally never be able to afford or take out a loan for. I never thought there were good people in this world. Never. And when I seen this uh, this grant thing, and I'm like, I never did stuff like that. When I went to college and stuff, it was like, you know, you write essays and stuff like that, but you don't put your personal life and let people know it, you know? And not unless you go to a counselor. There's a lot of tears as I was writing because I'm still emotionally stuck on that stupid stuff. I need to get past a lot of it. But I haven't got there yet because I still have a hard heart. It's like it's surrounded with brick. I don't know how to break it. And if I break it, I might just fall apart, you know, and I won't stay strong.